Hey, this is the Tax Telegraph. Can you deduct America's favorite drink as a business expense? This is part three of a series to discuss the intricacies of taxes in coffee. In part one, we learned how employers can deduct coffee at the office. In part two, we learned how the self-employed can deduct coffee on the road. What if we have a business meeting or coffee with a customer or employee? Is that deductible? Let's say you are meeting with a potential client at a coffee shop. The purpose of the meeting is to discuss your services and to see if they would be a good fit. You order coffee for you and the prospect. That coffee is deductible. IRS publication 463 remember that from part two, states that you can deduct meals if they are provided to a current or potential business customer, client, consultant, or similar business contact. The meal cannot be lavish or extravagant. Wow, that's actually pretty straightforward for once, except for the lavish or extravagant part. There is no definition of lavish or extravagant under the tax code, and there are no court cases to reference against, but I doubt the typical taxpayer will have to worry about being lavish or extravagant. How about a meeting with an employee to discuss business operations at a coffee shop and both of you get coffee? That coffee is deductible as long as there is a business purpose and it's not lavish or extravagant. IRS Reg Section 1.274-12 states that we can deduct meals provided to a business associate. A business associate is later defined and includes an employee in the definition. Of course, there are more specifics, but this info gives you something to think about. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Fun fact, I bought this mug when I was an intern and I did not have any children and I wasn't even married. So it really tripped up other coworkers when they walked by my desk and saw it and were like, are you a dad? <laughs>